Any news or rumors floating about? Here, take a look at this. Oh, the bird's eye. Added. The winking. What is that? Attention travelers, I just wanted to pass this warning along about the old tower east of Lost Echo Cave. I set out camp just off the road and went to sleep, but halfway through the night I woke up to strange chanting coming from the roof. Orgrim the Farsighted. Can I Fever speak next time your foot sore. with Ogren by any chance? Welcome to upgrade that armor I gave you, but it's no. enchanted, so you Not need yet. to know how to forge magical items. Oh, Asgild! Wait, is wait, where's your father? Uh, well, Thank you again for helping secure my dad's freedom. Did he already leave? Probably. Did something. Ooh. Ooh, what are oh, they God. saying? Yes. Oh, Nectar. You know I can't betray their confidence, just as I would never betray yours. Hi, Nithriel. I don't trust Can you. Can I help you? No one should trust Nithriel, frankly. But that's a whole separate issue. Okay, well, there we go. We found a new clue. Or a new hint as to somewhere we can go. Wait, search Mistwatch for Viola. I guess we also have that. It's not even what I was hoping for when I asked for a hint. <laughs> when I asked for like, hey, what's going on? I was hoping that uh, they would direct me here. Yes. Yes, what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy dying? I don't know if you're the one I need to talk to. You appear to be healthy. What, so healthy people can't die now? I'll have you know we can. It just takes thrice the time. Is that so? What's your problem? Calm down, madame. No need to be antagonistic. I will be whatever I want to be, you brainless cur. Ouch! I will not be courteous. For what nobility I had left departed along with my fortune. No, I was stripped of it by the only thing that could affect someone of my eminence. I lost it to Dragonfire. Helgen. I was there. Oh, so was I. Somehow, I doubt that. One with your considerable waistline would have proved too tempting a morsel for a dragon to ignore. Wow! I'm still swift enough to take you down. I'm pretty comfortable for my size. With my size. I'm not sure how any of this is relevant, and you seem to be projecting. Yeah. How absurd. My personal chef saw to it that I ate only the healthiest meals, and my servants made sure to compliment me on the result. Were my servants lying to me all this time? Yes. If they were smart, they were. But people of low birth are all twaddling nitwits. Wow. Take you, for example. Oh, I don't hold it against you. Were I to choose you, my name alone would be enough to elevate our progeny beyond your obvious shortcomings. What do you mean? Truth be told, I have suffered worse in the name of making my fortune. I wonder if you are spoken for. I am. Which brings us back to my original point. I am in need of a suitable partner. One who can finance the lifestyle I have become accustomed to. Because, for all intents and purposes, I'd rather be dead than poor. And every second I am the latter brings me closer to the former. So, as the Nords are fond to do, I seek marriage without courtship. Time is short, and every day is worth two tomorrows. You couldn't have lost much. Helga was, much, was more a military outpost than a city. Many paid a stiff price at Helgen, yet you still have your life. Can I actually find someone for her? And who do you think fed the soldiers and reared their mounts? Ashwood Farm had a contract with the Empire, and they paid handsomely. With no Jarl, there were no taxes. And with a military garrison situated in the city, our homes were guarded tighter than the Blue Palace itself. 
Helgen was indeed a military outpost. And that is precisely what made it profitable. Alright, well, I guess... I don't know if I can actually find a man for Fine. you. Fine. No, I came here because I thought there was another quest. Oh, hello. Did you find it? Tell me you found it. Oh, what is with Wait, your eyebrows? You're not my assistant. Curses! What's keeping her? What in oblivion are you talking about? Slow down. Start from the beginning. It's not the beginning I require. Damn it! I have to know how this story ends. What story are you talking about? Esther Moreau's final piece. Surely you've heard of her. Yes, Esther Moreau is my cousin. That would make you very old indeed, given she has been dead for centuries. Uh, well... Moreau was a writer of dwarven stories, and her imagination was limitless. Ooh. But she was more than a writer. She was an artist. Moreau predicted that in the future, people would tell stories not with words, but pictures. That's why her most famous novel isn't a novel at all. It's a series of paintings that tell of the grandest epics. Is the painting on the wall one of her works? It is indeed. Part six of seven. The first five I have stored away in my personal chambers. But the entire set is useless without its conclusion. Even a glimpse of it would give me the closure I seek. Where is the final painting? I made the purchase through a reliable source weeks ago and set my assistant to retrieve it. Only it appears the deal went sour as she hasn't returned. I'll see what I can find out. Where was the deal supposed to happen? Markarth. Evidently, it was in possession of the Silverblood family. If they've double-crossed me, I swear on Xenathar that they will pay. She isn't the most skilled painter, of course, but that isn't the point. The storytelling shines through. I don't know. I feel like the uh, Silverblades aren't exactly art connoisseurs. I can see them wanting a straightforward sale in that regard. It's like, yeah, we don't care about art here. Just give us our money. I might not trust the Silverblades for much, but I trust them to be thorough when it comes to business. When it comes to just gold itself. So, fun fact, this is officially the longest Skyrim Saturday series as of today. We're in part 41, which means we have now overtaken what was the longest Skyrim Saturday playthrough, Maids to Deception. And it's so weird because that was years and years ago, and still we had nothing longer than that. Come on in. But suffice it to say... And clean rooms. Suffice it to say, interesting NPCs is long. My favorite drinking buddy. Let's get some mead. We're at part 41, and my best estimate is that we're going to probably be going for a little bit longer still. My best guess is that this will probably wrap up between somewhere between episode like 50 and episode 60, if I had to guess. What am I gonna do? Is something the matter? Yeah, something is. Let's just say, for argument's sake, that you were in possession of something amazing. A true work of art. Only the problem is, it's also extremely dangerous. What do you do with it? Do you hide it? Destroy it? Dangerous? Does it have a knife or something? Hide it. If the responsibility is too much, let fate decide. Destroy it. Nothing stays hidden forever. If you're talking about skooma, then you share it. Destroy it. Cast it into the fire. I know, but it's not that easy. This is one of the most important works of our time. Destroying it feels wrong. What exactly are we talking about here? <sighs> I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you. It's a painting. The last known work of Esther Moreau. Oh, my cousin! What do you know of Esther Moreau? Some say she was a recluse. Others say she was a necromancer. But everyone agrees the woman was strange. Now, 
I don't know about spells and witchcraft and all that. What I do know is the history of that painting. And how can a painting be dangerous? I don't expect you to believe me, but history doesn't lie. The painting is death itself. Is it a painting of Sithis? At least you die having seen a priceless work. Uh, sounds reasonable. I've seen plenty of things that made me want to kill myself. It's a painting of Sithis? No, but it'll deliver you to him. Moreau's husband was the first to view the painting, and he died not long after. The next one to die was an art collector who gathered all seven works, along with everyone in his household. The trail continues in this manner. Ledgers that show the purchases, followed days later by notices of death. If the painting is a death sentence, how are you still alive? Well, it was wrapped. I haven't had the courage to look at it. If I die, there will be no one to spread the word about its dangers. What if I were to look at the painting and describe it to you? Hold that thought, I'll be right back. What if we hired an artist to make an alternate ending? <laughs> what if I were to look at it? And she's like, no, you'll die! Do you realize what you're asking me to do? I can't send you to your death. Eh. Just give me the sodding painting already. Uh, if you're worried it will kill me, don't. I've endured worse. I did get stuck in an infinite death time loop at one point, so maybe no. <laughs> um, hold that thought, I'll be back. Wait, where would I be going? What if we hired an artist to make an alternate ending? Master Halkar is an expert on Moreau. He'd spot a forgery almost immediately. No, there's no other option but to hide it or destroy it. At least I know it's safe in the treasury house for now. Okay. My father, Klepper, is the one you want to Wait, talk to. Wait, let me talk to I her just again. Clean up. Unlike my husband, Klepper, the painting I is a priceless work of guess. art. We can't just remove it from this world without considering the consequences. Yeah, let me look through the dialogue a little bit. Some say she would... Now, I don't know oh, never mind. spells and witchcraft and all okay. that. Okay, nope, can't go My mother and there father at all. Yell a lot. I can't get back to the previous conversation what can points I do for at all. You? I was just confused by the hold on, I'll be right back. Like, would that be if I went to go take the painting and just immediately deliver it to Halakar? Can I do for you, friend? I just need the painting. Working in the treasury house isn't so bad. I earn good money. Because we already paid for it, right? Oh. Um. Hi. No one's angry at me yet. No, no one's mad currently. I don't necessarily trust it to stay that way, though. Hence why I decided to sneak. Oh, okay, I don't like that. Never mind. Oh, wait, no, no I, 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 I technically looked at it. Oh. Oh, guys, we're all gonna die. Oh, no. I'm sorry, guys. We're all dead. So, you've come to hear the end of my story. It is not something I am prepared to tell. Because the questions will always be more interesting than the answers. With a name like Moreau, I assumed you were a Breton. And the best ending, the perfect ending, will always be the absence of one. There's no ending? Unfortunately, no. I once sought the perfect ending to my story, only to find the words eluded me. So I tried to frame it not with words, but pictures. But even then, I failed. That is, until the day I met a wanderer who kept a dog as his companion. He offered me a proposition. 
What sort of proposition? He would grant me what I desired most, but asked nothing in return. He took pleasure in knowing that perfection would provide its own disappointment. Because to maintain its secret, the painting required a protector. And so here I am, guardian of my own shame. Who are these corpses on the floor? They, like you, are curious souls who sought the ending to my story. And when given the chance, they have all chosen to keep it. Why do you think you had so much trouble with the ending? It is the paradox of any mystery. The answers will never satisfy your curiosity. They are only varying levels of disappointment. That's an excuse. You just lack the skill to create a, sus a, sus a suitable ending. Kept on wanting to say sustainable. What about an ending based on actual Dwarmer theories? Why not end on a cliffhanger? True, there's no satisfying way to finish a story about the dwarves. Oh, I love it. That's very, very... Almost like fourth wall breaking. Because even Todd Hours has said they're never going to flat out tell us what happened to the dwarves. Yes. Save for the one. That is what the Wanderer meant when he called it the perfect ending. What is this painting? The Wanderer I spoke of was none other than Clavicus Vile. I asked him for the perfect ending, and this is his answer. The painting itself is proof that such an ending exists, and the death of its owners ensures it will never be known. What happens now? I'm almost imagining it's a thing of... You come here, you look at the painting, you come here and you ask, Oh, what happened to the Dwemer? She tells you, and it's like, well, alright. Now you die. Like, you have to die with that knowledge, is what I'm guessing. You have a choice. You may choose to adhere to my wishes and die by my hand. Or you may take the painting behind you to serve as the new ending. What does the painting depict? It's drivel. The worst kind of ending imaginable. It will ensure that no others follow this path at the cost of my personal legacy. Why would you damage your own legacy? Simple. By giving you a choice, I allow you to affirm or deny the ending I chose. If you choose the cliché then, as a writer, I have already failed. What happens if I vanquish you? I... I haven't the faintest idea. None have succeeded so far. On the other hand, none of your predecessors have ever fought back. I'm ready to decide. Very well. Take the painting or take up arms. But I warn you, I will not go down easily. I mean, doesn't she want to be free? Isn't that the other thing? Like, wouldn't you wish to be free from this existence? Oh, I'm still wearing... I'm still wearing my Rothvine Guard armor. Oh, that's right. Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you caught me on a bad day. You caught me wearing the wrong armor. I apologize. It's very embarrassing. Very, very embarrassing indeed. Where's my backpack? And my... Alright. 
There we go. Much better. Shoop, shoop. Ah! I won't go down easily. Yeah, she uh, definitely didn't go down easily. Not at all. But now she's free. She's free. The curse has been broken. This has got to be the good ending, right? Oh, can I tell his assistant? But like, hi, I'm not dead. I went into the painting. I... Killed Esther Moreau, who I assumed was a Breton with a name like Moreau. With an X and everything. It's very French-like. Come on in. The silver blood She's dead, I'm alive. Drink and clean room. Painting is safe. I think. Oh, did she leave? My father Klepper is the one you want to talk to. Oh, I don't think she's here anymore. I think she left. Well, I tried. You've returned. What news do you have of Moreau's painting? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Here, this should complete the story. Fantastic. Let's place it on the wall so I can properly interpret it. Do you have the other five? Well, he said he has the other five in his study, so I'm not going to be able to see the whole thing, am I? Okay, we last saw the hero just as he was about to discover what happened to the Dwemer. And what do we have here? Death bells. But that would mean... I hope he doesn't die in front of me. No, this can't be right. Although it has all the characteristics of a Moreau piece. Oh! No, you fool! I warned you what would happen! I thought I broke the cycle! Okay. He's dead. I thought I broke the cycle! Get away from me. As far as I'm concerned, you killed him. Oh, did it only free me from the curse? Oh. Uh. Nobody go in that room. Nobody go in there. Get away from me. As far as I'm concerned, you killed him. Yeah, no, I'm with you on that. I messed up. Frankly, I gotta get out of town now. I don't want to be around when the guards start asking questions. I should probably take that painting down. Hold up. I don't just want to leave the painting up. That would be very, very bad. Like, people are just gonna keep looking at it. People are gonna keep dying. Like, we gotta just, we gotta take it. I'll be out of here in just a sec. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay. I can go. I can take the cursed painting with me. But yeah, I gotta get out of town. Let's head for the bird's eye. Let's just act like none of this ever happened. Oh, God, alright. The bird's eye is a little taller than I expected. It's taller than most structures. Frankly, I think that might actually be the tallest structure I've seen in Skyrim. The only exception I can think of is maybe the turrets on Fort Dongard, but yeah, this is quite big. It's also kind of empty. Oh, maybe not that empty. I'm gonna take this potion, that soul gem, that soul gem. Got a lot of skulls. Not boding well for me right now. I'm not feeling great about this place. I saw more soul gems. I just want to see what's going on here. There's oh, dead hag ravens now? Or bandits? Uh, Alright. Not ominous at all. Just a chair on the top of the tallest mountain. Uh, mountain tower. You, gonna jump up behind chair. me. Don't get up. Oh. I swear on the gods, I will push you over if you do. I already got up. Oh no, you've gotten up. What am I going to do? Money. I will pay you money to get back in the chair. In the chair? Those people down there. I, I never liked them anyway. I'm happy they're dead. Please, just don't hurt me. Are you okay? Why is this happening? All I ever wanted was to learn a little magic. Maybe smite a few enemies. It's happening because you chose to cavort with the wicked. Now you die. Uh, relax, I didn't kill your friends. Then we have much in common. Smiting one's enemies is a noble pursuit. Come with me, girl. I will teach you everything you need to know. I didn't kill your friends. So you're not one of the bandits? But 
That means you're trespassing here now. Just like a bandit. <sighs> I'm too pretty to die. Whoa. Come back here. I I lost track of her the second she went invisible, frankly. You're still here. Well, I didn't want to do this, but you, you leave me no choice. I'm not really threatened right I'll now. I'll have you know I'm no ordinary witch. Have you ever seen a Dramora Lord? Well, uh, his name is Dravas, and he's a trained killer. Don't believe me? Th then feast your eyes on this. I hope you're not staying out of trouble. See, I told you, that's a Dramora Lord, in the flesh. Leave, before I sick him on you. Travis doesn't fight, he parties. I met him before. You're wrong. He just, he's just making sure he doesn't stain his armor when he tears off your head. Just wait, you'll see. Oh gods, what am I saying? He's completely worthless. How are you able to summon this Dramora? What is this place? The Dramora won't listen to your commands. How were you able to summon him? I don't know. I've heard only Master Conjurus can do it. But there was this battler named Sam, and he sold me a tome. He said it was a special book made for novices. I can't tell you how excited I was when it actually worked, but then I tried to command him. I should have known it was too good to be true. Sam? Like Sam Guervin by any chance? What is this place? They call it a bird's eye. Some say it's because it touches the sky. Others say it's because it's infested with hags. But you saw it. Mother Agus is dead. All my sisters too. Which means I'll probably never become a matriarch. Are you saying you want to be a hag raven? No! Of course not. I mean, you people kill the mothers, right? Then, <laughs> why would I want to be one? No way, not me. I'm just a regular old student from the College of Windhelm on her way back home. I'm just curious. You can tell me the truth. Oh, well, in that case, maybe I do. But only because they're extremely powerful. It's not like I, you know, want to look like a faultier. <laughs> really. Some people are into it. Is there any way I can help? Really? You do that for me? But we just mad. Oh gods, I didn't just talk you out of it, did I? Because there really might be a way, even without Mother Aegis. It's incredibly risky, and you might have to get your hands dirty. What does this ritual require? It requires... ingredients. Well, not really ingredients, as in feathers and plants. I don't want to scare you, but I need organs, and I need them fresh. Real fresh, as in ripped out from the body. So you need live bodies to perform a vivisection? Sure, that's not a problem so long as it's a wild goat or some chicken. <laughs> so you need live bodies? Oh gods, no. I can't stomach all the blood. But there might be another way to remove the body parts without needles or sutures. You do realize we're talking about people, right? I mean, I need goat heads too, but we have plenty here already. Tell me about the ritual. Why must they be fresh? Oh, uh, what about a Sren? Taproot is a keen source of magical energy. Oh, there's going to be taproot in a cauldron, and a lot of other ingredients. But that's not what I need to finish the brew. I need people. I'll just choose bandits, that's easy. I know that's this easy. sounds wicked, but there's no other choice. You understand, don't you? Alright, why must the organs be fresh? Living organs are like soul gem fragments. They have lingering echoes of the soul. That's the difference between a beating heart and a still one, even if it's in a jar. You can even make a heart beat for hours outside the body, if the jar's filled with a special solution. Void salts, a torque bog thorax, and a drop of lemon juice is all you need. But I prefer we find bodies who live nearby. What about the ritual itself? How do the organs help with the transformation? As I understand it, they're simply part of the sacrifice. 
Mother Egg is used to say, the old gods grow strong on the fat of live souls. It's nothing personal, it's just the way it is. But to answer your question, the gods do all the work. The sacrifices are just, well, a bribe. I hope you're not staying out of trouble. I'm okay, but thank you for asking. Wait. So, yeah, that is all the other dialogue options I have. Do I have a quest for this? No, I don't. The Dramora won't listen to your commands? When I ask him to fight, all he does is wave his stupid tankard around. It's like he's not even here. Yeah, I just want to go through the ritual. It re I don't want to scare you, but I need organs. And I need them fresh. Real fresh. As in ripped out from the body. That's not a problem, so long as it's a wild goat or some chicken. Yeah, about that. I actually need organs from living people. But don't worry, it doesn't have to be people you like. <laughs> don't worry, I'll help you just tell me what organs and, if need be, whose. Great! I know just the family. Oh? They live in a small cottage west of here. I- Across from Lost Echo Cave. I just wanted to hurt some bandits. There's something about them I don't like. Something... off. Uh. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure they're nice people once you get to know them, but not nice enough that I'd feel guilty about harvesting their organs. You might be dying. Never mind, Misha. I need Misha. the father's liver, the mother's toes, and the child's heart. Oh! If you do this for me, I'll pay you in gold. No. Better than gold. I've got a special reward for you. You'll see. Alright then. Ooh, I do not feel good about this anymore. Yeah, my first thought was like, we're just gonna go kill some bandits. No. She had a family picked out and everything. Oh, I don't like you. Oh, I really don't like you. Now, I hope there's actually something off about the family. That would make me feel a little bit Welcome, better. Welcome, Traveler. It's been a long time since we've had an adventurer come through these parts. Surely you'll want to come in and rest your weary feet. Oh, return to Misha with a human heart, a giant's toe, and a charred skeever hide instead. Huh. Okay. Uh, thank you, sir. I'm tired and in need of a rest. No, no. Don't thank me. My wife and I enjoyed the company. My little one even more so. Say... You've got a nice set of earlobes on you. Where I come from, those are good luck. And good luck is contagious. Oh. You must stay the night. Never mind, they're murderers. Really, Papa? What about his toes? Are they big too? You said toes bring the best luck. No! I don't know, child. I won't know until he takes off his shoes. No, you also want to be Hagravens! He's on you, little giant. You and your mother are blasted with very large feet. Really? You mean it, Papa? Of course, my darling. Now go tell your mother we have a guest. Okay. Okay. Remind her to sprinkle salt on the floorboards by the entrance. The home has to be purified before our guest steps inside. Yep, you guys are murderers. In any case, judging by the smell, it looks like we're having stew. I hope you like charros. So, in other words, I don't like anyone in this situation. I don't like anyone at all. I don't like Misha, I don't like the family. Who are you? So you must be the visitor Reni told me about. Let me get a good look at you. Don't look at me, ma'am. Oh, I like the shape of your nose. Mm. I had a dream about the Falmer one, and he had the exact same one. Wait. That Falmer in my dream was very old, but had good skin, which means you'll age just as well. But excuse my manners. My name's Bet. The little one's Reni, and you've met my husband, Frodmar. I understand we're having chara stew. How did you obtain such a rare meat? My husband does like to exaggerate. Most adventurers can't tell the difference between charas and chickens. Last time it was dolphin pie, but if you look close, you'll see the flint of silver he keeps under his tongue. But for being a good sport, why don't you have a quick taste? Chickens or charas, I'm sure you'll like it. When you're done, go on and grab a seat at the head of the table. It's bad luck for the guest of honor to sit anywhere else. I don't know if I have any nightshade on me. Oh! It's right there. 
Oh, perfect. I, uh, I don't like you guys. Also, your daughter looks huge compared to you right now. Wait, she's actually bigger than him! Look at this! What the fuck happened? I'm a little concerned about the- hold on, hold on! What are you feeding this child and can I get seconds? Is the meal ready yet, my love? The more I work, the hungrier I get. And it's been a long week. Did you place the elf's ear in the boot like I told you? I've been doing that. And chewing on them as well. Plus, I put one of those purple flowers under the cooking pot in the bed. Oh, love. Purple? You didn't leave Nightshade under the pot again, did you? I told you, it goes under the pillow. Oh, <laughs> silly me. How's that rhyme go again? When you're feeling blue, the color's true. When you're feeling high, use shades of night. What would I ever do without my Rennie? Do you have any children, Traveler? I don't feel comfortable answering that question. I don't have any children at the moment. Well, you're still young. You have time yet. Some people are in such a rush, though. They try raising children that aren't their own. A disgusting practice. This whole notion of adoption. I... What? Mario going to scare our guests. He knows what is and what isn't a sin. Adoption's a You're sin? You're right. I apologize for making things so dour. My, that smells delicious! Oh no you don't. The guest eats first. But not before we have a little conversation to whet their appetites. So is it true what they say? Have the dragons returned? They have. Helgen was destroyed. Uh, you might not believe this, but I was there when Helgen was attacked. You must have had an eagle claw in your pocket, or a pig snout at the very least. You always need a little luck in times like these, which is why I keep both. Ah, southerners with their troubles. Dragon schmagons. It's what they get for living in such hot weather. <laughs> Mama, can I show the nice man my bug collection? After you finish your stew. That's right, eat up. Don't oh, let the girl have her fun. We can put the stew back in the pot for now. Let it warm up some more. Eat the stew. Hey, it's really impressive. I keep it on the table over there next to Rengir's skull. He keeps an eye on it for me. Who's Your brother skull? always did enjoy playing with bugs, eating them too. Not anymore, Papa. Not after you took away his teeth. Uh, ah, that's right. Poor Rainy was scared. Rengir's skull would eat her collection. So I had the lower jaw removed. Mm. Children have such wild imaginations. In any case, we have the jaw in a drawer for safekeeping. It's a bit strange keeping your son's skull. How did your boy die? Oh, it's simple. The poor boy didn't listen to his mother. I can't tell you how many times he'd stay out past curfew, or forgot to leave the rabbit's feet hanging by the railing. So one day, he came home too late, and it was his body hanging out by the railing instead. I don't mean to be so callous. But it's the truth. Of course, Frodmar wanted to have Rengir stuffed, but thankfully the wolves didn't leave much save the bone. Aye, that would have been in poor taste. You don't want to honor a child so foolhardy. No, of course Still, not. Still, he was our boy, and hopefully the gods won't mind us keeping his skull as a memento. Here you go again, husband, making things awkward for our guest. Can we just enjoy this nice meal I've cooked for all of you? You're right, love. This is a joyous occasion. Our first visitor in, what is it, months? Yes, the last one didn't stay for very long. I warned you about her. She had a mole on her cheek that was clearly a Daedric mark of some kind. Not that you could spot it the way you've been lately. Have you been putting the sheep's blood in your eyes every morning like I told you? We killed the last sheep two seasons ago, as a sacrifice for the gods. Oh, right. What about this season? Did you remember to leave the sacrifices by the altar? Honey, I thought you were taking care of it. Damn! We can't! We can't! So, what I was gonna say before they just died was, um... Oh, Alright, I know it's just the thing for the giant's toe, but... 
Just given the context. Oh, God, it's weird. Um, so they're not murderers. They're just really fucking weird and very, very superstitious. Where's the child? Oh, yep, there she is. Yeah, it wasn't that they were murderers, it's just that they were superstitious, so I feel a little bit bad about this now, but man, oh man, did they creep me out. Being superstitious is not a reason to kill someone, but still, really, really weird family. Oh. They, they were innocent in this. And now I have to live with that. But, um, they're dead. My fault. Let's give this to Misha. Hey, Misha. I've brought the ingredients for the ritual. I knew it. I knew you wouldn't let me down. I mean, I was starting to doubt you just a little, but then I told myself, have faith, Misha, have faith, and it worked. I have the whole ritual prepared, right this way. Watch your step. <laughs> Got a little carried away with the blood. You don't want to slip and fall from here. Wow, this woman had huge speed. Ugh. Do you know what they say about women with huge speed? No. I don't either. Okay. Anyways, in you go. Okay, what comes next? Do I slaughter another goat? I suppose another goat wouldn't hurt. Can you do me a favor and grab a goat hide from the grave? Then toss it into the cauldron. Or was it a hog beak first? Then a goat? I know the feathers are last, but what comes before that? Oh damn it, Misha. Why can't you remember? You should really write these things down. Also, don't mind me, I... I just want it to be clear. I hope you don't mind. I, I'm sure that the, the rain is very nice for the ambiance for becoming an immortal hag raven, but... Still, I just, I assumed this just might be better. See? Beautiful. So now, goat hide. Oh, do I not, like, actually place it in? Aw. I thought I could drop it in. Which, maybe that was a little bit of a stretch, but I was like, oh, what if I could, like, physically drop it in and watch it disappear? I was like, that could be cool. That would be fun. So do the hawk beak. Uh... The goat hide. I mean, it's not like she exactly remembers what to do either. And the skeever tail. I know the fat is the last. By the crone, you did it. At least it sure seems like you did. The way that cauldron's bubbling. I did not have much instruction to go off of. You didn't know what the recipe was, so I just went with it. Are you sure you want to do this? Well, it's kind of scary. But do you know what's even scarier? Not doing it. But yeah, just in case, let me give you your reward now. It's the spell tome that Peddler gave me. <gasps> Travis doesn't fight, but he does draw attention. You know how it is. Pretty much everyone attacks the Dramora first. I'm okay with this. Uh, thanks, I guess. Wait, you don't like your gift? Damn it, I knew I should have went with a sack of gold, but people say that's so lazy. I love how nervous she is. Either way, I guess it doesn't matter now. In about a minute, I'm going to be too powerful to care about anyone but myself. Just watch, it's not gonna work. Oh, 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 I'm going down the stairs by accident. Oh, the rain's back. I call upon the crone of old to boil the phantom of Bubble Toad. His swirls of guts and liver chopped. Cook the first in this blackened pot. And 
Take a sip. Nope, not yet. Eye of nude in flux of crow. Boil the broth with the second stoves. Delay of snake and magic's dark. Drain the life of this child's heart. Round about the cauldron stirs. From mortal skin to withered bird. From these four lives it drinks the stew. From which to hack be born anew. Hey. Everybody dies. Everybody dies. In the end, I'm not really the uh, the good guy in this situation, now am I? Not really. Not really. Killed a family because they creeped me out and then let her die. So they died for nothing. I never said I was always the hero. Sometimes I have some off days. What can I say?